So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your Postman collections a bit easier to maintain and a bit smaller. So when you're first starting out using Postman, you'll probably end up with lots and lots of requests in your collection doing all kinds of things. Uh, I often see people having specific requests for the local host, test, production, acceptance, dog food, whatever type of environment they have. Uh, and this is fine, especially when starting out, but this can be done much and much easier uh, by using variables. Uh, variables are, well, all over the place. You can define them in, in multiple places in Postman. Uh, I'm going to show you the most straightforward one in this video. So when you have a collection, um, uh, it, it's well somewhat similar to a folder. Uh, this one is Demo Collection 2. There's this tab over here uh, on the screen which is called Variables. And you can put, well, Variables in there. On this so on this tab, you'll be seeing the variable names, the initial value, and the current value. So the current value is the value being used by the actual requests. Um, at this moment, it's the, it's the host where I'm running my APIs. It's localhost over here. But whenever I need to change environments, I can just change this one variable, and it will be used all in all my requests. So over here, I have the, the get. Uh, so this will be using localhost 7071. Uh, same for creating uh, the create URL. So this will also be using the localhost 7071. Whenever I need to change this uh, to work with a test environment, the only thing I need to change is this value, the current value over here. And I can run all of the requests again on the th this other environment. And if you paid attention in the post, I'm also using this one, so this random password. Uh, this one is super useful because this is a built-in variable uh, uh, exposed by Postman. There are multiple others like GUID, ISO timestamp, and well, I can just scroll down for a long time. And all of these are available to you when starting uh, to create Postman requests. Super useful. Uh, I'm using it all the time in, in well all of my collections and now you know of the existence so you can use them too. Thanks for watching and see you next time.